hello everyone we are again here in the projection of solids topic so in the previous video i discussed with you the axis inclined to one of the reference plane that is third case and that i am going to discuss with you today is itself axis inclined to hp and parallel to vp in the previous video i'll discuss your same sub case but the solid is different the solid was pentagonal prism and this video i'm going to take you in the pentagonal pyramid okay so let's see the question first a pentagonal pyramid with side of base 30 mm and axis 50 mm long is resting on one of its faces on hp so you can see here that when in when in the case of the pyramids if they are talking about the faces the faces are triangular faces okay remember it they have triangular faces they which meet at a common point which is known as apex okay these all things i already discussed in the theory of the projection of solids video so you may go to that video for more references okay so a pentagonal pyramid so this is my pentagonal pyramid side of the base is 30 mm so this is a side of the base this is your base this yellow color is your base and this is 30 mm and axis is 50 mm so height means height of the solid is 50 mm in this case if the axis length is given it means the height of the solid is given so resting on one of its faces on hp so one of the triangular faces on hp so I'll, you can see that odc this triangular face odc which which is in red in color it rests on that face on hp such that its axis is parallel to vp so you can very see you you can see it very clearly so you can see it very clearly that axis is very much parallel to vp but it makes some angle with hp okay so draw the projections means draw its front view and top view so in the previous video i already told you if your axis is inclined to uh, to hp so you have to make your axis perpendicular to that particular plane so you can see that your axis is make some angle with hp the angle is unknown in this case but it makes some angle so you have to reduce that angle and make that angle to 90 degree so you can see that this is my assumption this is first assumption i put my pentagon pyramid exactly on its base on the hp which makes its axis perpendicular to hp okay so you can see it very carefully so you know that this is our case when my solid or axis of the solid is perpendicular to your hp so you can start with here this is my assumption so, so you have to start from here then we will move towards our actual projection of solid so you know that in this case if i am going to make this case this imagination so you know that from the front view you cannot see the true shape of the pentagon but from the top view you will going to make the true shape of the pentagon okay so for, we have to start from the top view so this is a pentagon we have to start with the polygon command so polygon command so number of sides five this is a pentagon edge is given so i'll start from here so maybe here so it its shape is like this okay now going to edge write down the whatever the edges this is 30 so this is my top view of this one this is top view okay so now i'm going to make a nomenclature first so this is a and improve its site seven okay so go to the properties now i'm going to make a nomenclature first so let's see this one this is a and improve its site and seven okay make it this one and improve its site seven this one okay so now i'll make it copy and put over here 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 and here as well okay so i delete this one so i know that this is a this is a so i'll take this is a one here so this is b so i'll 
select this one so this is B okay so this is C the same way D and this is E okay so this is my top view and this is a nomenclature as per the top view of this my pentagonal pyramid so when you see from the top side you even visible to these edges you see that the triangular edges are is very much visible from the top view so you have to make these edges whenever you're going to make a pyramid cases remember it always remember you have to find out the center of the solid whatever solid is but in the cases of pyramid these edges are also visible to you these triangular faces edges so you have to make edges over here first of all find out the center and you, i already told you how to find out the center of the pentagon just take a line and from any corner mark your line exactly perpendicular towards the opposite edge so this is one again take a line again select any one corner and opposite to that edge meet like that okay so wherever these two edges meet or two lines meet that becomes your center of the pentagon so i know that this is my center this one so i have to take to these this corner again take this one this one again this one okay so you have to meet all these of all of your edges you have to show so, okay so i'll put nomenclature also here okay i'll copy it and put over here so in actual this is o this is o okay so you can see here this is my o this is center this is center okay this is o so this is o a this is o b this is o c this is o d this is o e you can see here also this is o a this is o b this is o c this is o d and o e and o d c is the triangular face on which these rests o d c is a triangular face on which your this pentagon rests on h p okay so now i'm going to make a front view with the help of this top view so take a projections towards so you know that first of all make the axis line so this is axis line projection from the center again take the projection from all the corners so this one then this one okay now i'm going to make a front view over here so first of all make your axis line so i know that the height of the solid is given which is whichever the length of your axis so axis length is 50 so i'll take its 50 so this is 50 okay so now i'm going to take a line again so from these this one i'll just connect all of these triangular faces edges towards like this like this one okay so this is my front view of the pyramid now i'll join all of these so you have to join all of these edges outwards so just by giving the command join and enter so you can see here now it is a one entity okay so now you have to make your axis line as per the axis line so just select this one go to by layer and just a center line here so you can see here this is a center line as per convention of lines so now make the nomenclature first so i'll take a copy command here so first of all axis one and put over here okay and this is o dash i know that this is o dash okay so this is my nomenclature and this is a front view of the para pyramid and this is a top view of the pyramid okay so now this has been done now i'm moving towards my actual projection so you can see that this does this pyramid rest on o d c phase so this is o d c phase on this it rests so you have to rotate your this complete pyramid over here okay so i'll what i i'm going to do is now select these one and make it copy and put over here 
just put over here at any length okay so i'll put over here so you can see this okay you can also make your axis line okay, copy this one select from here and put over here okay now i make the nomenclature here also so again i'll use copy command this one and put over here so so i know that this is o1 dash this is o1 this one okay in the same way all the nomenclature have been done like this okay so this is the way to make the nomenclature of all the points now i'm going to rotate my this pentagon exactly about this triangle face which is odc so you can see that this is odc face and in the front view this is odc face this edge shows represents this odc face and this is also odc face over here okay so i'll rotate this pyramid exactly on this edge odc this edge okay exactly on this edge over here so that it will be rest on the hp okay so how to rotate it now i'll select this one okay you can select this one this one i'll select this one now go to the rotation command i will be going by now rotation by reference over here it asked me about the specific base point so this is my base point over here so this is my base point i know that this is my base point you say that after it it gets rotated okay but instead of giving the rotation angle i'm going by the reference over here it see here reference now select this reference and it asked me about the specific reference angle so again i'm not going to the give the angle over here i'm selecting the point over here so this is my point and second point would be this one so you see that now it retard, starts rotating okay so now i'm going to give the zero angle over here zero angle zero angle and enter so you will see that it exactly rotate on my this odc face okay so this is a way to make the rotation of this pentagonal py pyramid over here on a face okay now i'm going to make a top view with the help of this front view so again go to this one now take a reference downside again this one again this one again this one okay again this one as well downside you have to take the axis line also so go downside okay this one this one this one okay so this is a way to make the projections from your front view towards your top view now take again a line so you have to take a projection from this side as well to complete the top view again this one and again this one again this one okay now i'm going to make a nomenclature first over here to to locate the points then we'll, we'll join these points over here so take the text command so this is o1 o1 one should be in the subscript select all of these increase your text right okay like this okay so now put over here so in the same way make all the no, uh, points over here like this okay students so this is a way to give the nomenclature of all these points now i'm going to join these points and complete my top view okay now take a polyline so this is o this is a point this is b this is c this is d this is e and this is again a so this is my face this is a base of the pentagonal pyramid so you can make it thick as well so because this is a visible face or visible base because you see that from the top view this a b c d e is very much clearly visible from the top view all the edges are visible over here okay now take now make that edges visible which are 
which are visible from the top view and that contains a triangular faces so you can see that oa oa is very much visible to you so make oa edge over here like this so o b is visible okay again o e is also visible okay so make these edges also thick continuous thick lines because as per convention of lines because these are visible one so you can see that from the top view only o d and o c these edges on which face the your pentagonal pyramid rest on hp is not visible to you so you can make these lines like this first make a line over here again take a line and make a line over here okay now select these lines and make these lines hidden lines because these are the hidden lines although these are the lines over here but these are hidden edges okay so this is a completion of my question you have to make these all of these also dark as per your convention of lines so you know that so this is my question so i'm rest only with the dimensions over here so take a dimension okay so take a, a line one so go over here this one this is 30 as per the question so again go to the dimension linear one this one and this one and this is 50 okay. so this is the dimensions and this is the this is actual figure and this is my assumption so you have to make the assumption whenever the axis of the your pair your pyramid prism whatever the solid is, is inclined with your principal planes you have to go that type of question in two stages first is assumption then your actual position of the solid okay so i hope you understand this question so if you like this video please go to the like in the description and if you still have any query please please comment in the comment section about your query thank you everyone